help you? That's Tex Williams. Victor Meth, the guy that invented the cigarette, I'd murder that son of a gun in the first... Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. your local real estate agent for exclusive home. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Doesn't tell me anything. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Good doctor has been marking this map.
Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down? Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. If you're imbecile, Harlan, get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him? I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Vince. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of you, Kelso. Foresight, Doctor. of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control.
Fontaine was having the houses burned for Monroe. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing. Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. Monroe nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the fire bug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Nobody's home. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. 